Gems is about showing people what they might not know about Howard County. There is so much to see and do. Everyone should come out and have some fun. We are still on our hunt through Howard County to find hometown hidden gems, and today we are at Savage Mill. Here you will find history, adventure, outdoors, specialty shops, delicious food. Amanda Hoff, Executive Director of Visit Howard County, says Savage Mills should be on everyone's Howard County bucket list. A incredibly uh, scenic uh, setting sitting alongside the Little Patuxent River. That and a ton of history. Savage Mill has been here since 1816. It was built as a cotton mill. Um, for textiles and stuff. And then um, around 1970s, um, it was a, a place for antique, antique shops. And now what we are is a collection of small businesses here, as well as um, shops and restaurants and eateries and, and everything you really can imagine. Julie Rogers is Director of Marketing and Communication for Savage Mill. People can spend a day here. It's really an experience. So people can go over to Terrapin Adventures and can go in and, and really be in the woods and, and do some climbing. And then other shops you can shop for, um, even clothes as well. And there, we have a bookshop as well, which is really fun. Um, and we also have Queen's Inc., which is a, um, a little, uh, little shop for crafts and arts and crafts and stuff. So it's really fun here. Um, and anything you can think of, we got it. <laughs> And while we're doing all that, we are bound to get hungry, and now Savage Mill has a new location, or a yes. new restaurant. For yes, us. definitely. So Dive Bar um, is opening up at the end of June, and they actually, they're a bar from Pittsburgh. Um, we are their sixth bar that they're opening up, and it's really, it's fun to have a, a newcomer here as well. And uh, their food is more like a gastropub, very great food, um, quality, high quality food, and lots of beer, which is always awesome, <laughs> too. The restaurant spans three floors, a giant patio, and has access to the courtyard as well for dining. The entirety of Savage Mill really is a place for the entire family to enjoy, right down to your furry family members. So not many people know this, but Savage Mill is dog friendly, which is phenomenal, honestly. Where can you go where um, you can bring your dog inside? Not that many places, and the fact that we offered uh, we offer trash bags and, and um, treats sometimes too. A lot of our businesses will have, have uh, little treat bags <laughs> for the dogs that come in. And you'll see a lot of our shops here actually do have their own office dog, as we should say. Um, so if you're a doggy lover, come on down because it's really fun. Speaking of fun, we have to double back to Julie's initial highlighted attraction, Terrapin Adventures. There's no way we want to miss that. It's basically a ropes course. So you can go on, go up and, and climb and do um, some zip lining too. They also offer kayak classes as well. And I think they do have some archery classes too. So they, um, during the winter, they have a lot of stuff for kids, but now that summer's here and adults want to get out too, um, they are doing some nighttime ropes courses as well. We use our high ropes course and giant swing, as you said, and this is a two hour program that we do after dark. So right now it's starting at 7 p.m and our latest time slot starts at nine. So we can go all the way till 11 p.m., but we have some really cool string lighting through our high ropes course, as well as some strobe and different effects that'll happen. And then also we have a cool, like kind of uh, backyard camp uh, cookout music as well. Terrapin Adventures specializes in team building of every kind, from scouts to corporate companies hosting group activities. They also host trips off property as well for anyone who may be interested. There are also camps for adventurers of every age. So we have multiple teen programs. Uh, we have one that is our teen exploration program, and then we have one that's maybe just a little bit more adventurous and outgoing. So that larger program is called our wilderness exploration, and we do actually do a, a hybrid trip at the end of the week with our campers where we go backpacking on the Appalachian Trail, as well as uh, for the last day, we do a small uh, portion of a caving trip. And so most of that camp is actually here on site, except for that last trip. Um, and all of that information is available at TerrapinAdventures.com. To discover other hidden gems in Howard County, just check out VisitHowardCounty.com. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned. <laughs> 